What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Season 19 has brought a number of new changes to Destiny, from new weapons to new armor and new activities. But the change that I've been most excited about has been the much needed updates to Stasis. One of the most impactful of all of these changes were the changes to Whisper of Rending, the stasis fragment that now provides primary ammo weapons, increased damage to stasis crystals, and frozen targets. Whisper of Rending previously only provided this benefit to stasis and kinetic weapons, making a very impactful change towards loadout options when using stasis builds. Which brings me to the point of today's video. We are going to be looking into how these changes to stasis have vastly vastly improved the performance of one specific hunter build, and that is the Renewal Grasp Exotic Gauntlet Stasis build. A build that was already amazing, but now with the changes that Season 19 has brought, this stasis build is absolutely incredible. One of the best hunter builds that you'll be able to use throughout this season. And dare I say, the best stasis hunter build. This will be perfect for Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls, Lost Sectors, Dungeons, Raids, you name it. You'll be able to provide yourself and your teammates with a massive damage resistance buff and get a massive increase in your weapon damage at the same time. A truly astonishing build. So we're going to be breaking it all down so you can put this build together for yourself and start using it. Before we jump into everything, if you do end up enjoying the video and finding it helpful, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. We've almost reached 25,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Just want to say thank you to everybody out there that's been supporting the channel. And just a quick update before we get into the build, we are almost at the 25,000 mark, which was the goal that I set a couple of months ago and announced that if we hit 25,000 subscribers before the Lightfall expansion comes out, that I will be getting a Destiny Lightfall themed tattoo that you get to watch me get and you get to help vote towards what the tattoo is and at the time of this video we're just under 500 subscribers away so if you enjoy the video then by all means please help support the channel and hit that subscribe button so everybody can watch me get a tattoo but I digress let's jump into the meat of this build this build completely focuses around the use of the renewal grasps which comes with the intrinsic trait called depth of dusk field your dusk field grenades have a much larger effect radius allies inside the dusk field take reduced damage and targets inside the area deal reduced damage. Now that's according to its in-game description, but let's dive in a little bit further to this. First off, the size of the dusk filled grenade radius. It actually gets doubled when you're using renewal grasp. And for enemies that are caught within the dusk filled grenade, they deal 50% reduced damage. That's significant. That's even more than disruption. And on top of that, you and your allies receive a 25% damage resistance bonus while standing within the dusk filled grenade radius. There is a slight catch to this though. When using the Renewal Grasp, the cooldown of your grenade is actually slowed down and reduced down to 152 seconds, which means that when putting this build together, we need to make up for the difference in that reduction. So we're going to have to counterbalance that with as much grenade energy as we can. Another interesting fact to the Renewal Grasp is that when you throw your dusk filled grenade, the size of the crystal will go from medium to large when using Touch of Winter, and you'll get an even further increase to the radius of your Dusk Filled Grenade, and that is exactly why we are going to be using Touch of Winter, which also received its own update in Season 19, now getting the ability to hold two Stasis Fragments. And to go along with Touch of Winter, we're going to be using the Stasis aspect called Grim Harvest. Defeating Slowed, or Frozen Combatants, creates a Stasis Shard. These shards grant melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. When picking up stasis shards, you will receive melee energy in return. And now that we have five fragment slots to use, we can really focus towards getting our ability energies back. And we're going to start with Whisper of Chains. While you are near frozen targets or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced 
increased damage from targets, and you get an increase of 10 points to your recovery. This will stack on top of the damage resistance bonus that you'll get from Renewal Grasp, providing you with an additional damage resistance bonus of 40%, which will really be felt when you start taking on those more challenging activities. And because of that, we're also using Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a Stasis Shard grants a small amount of Overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the Overshield and refreshes the timer. What this in-game description does not mention, though, is that when you are under full health. Picking up a shard will actually provide you with health. Picking up a small shard will provide 15 points of health. Picking up a large shard will provide 35 points of health. And once you have a full shield and full health, the Whisper of Rhyme will provide you with a full overshield of 100 points. An extremely underrated fragment and one that you should definitely be using if you're taking on the more challenging activities like Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls. We're also using Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate. Shattering additional stasis crystals increases the duration of this benefit. And along with that, we get a 10 point boost in our resilience. Now, Whisper of Shards is an extremely beneficial fragment because it actually provides up to a 600% boost in your grenade recharge rate. Since you'll create a large crystal every time you throw your dust grenade, this will give you a great opportunity at quickly getting your grenade energy back. And to increase the effects of our Dusk Filled Grenade, we're going to use Whisper of Durance. Slow from your abilities, last longer. For those abilities that linger, such as our Dusk Filled Grenade, their duration will also increase. This will more than make up for the fact that we have to wait longer to get our grenade back. And then of course we are using Whisper of Rending, the aforementioned Stasis Fragment. Primary ammo weapons do increase damage to Stasis Crystals and Frozen Targets. This will give all of your primary weapons weapons a 50% bonus in damage. This really opens up the playbook for stasis builds because you can use so many more weapons than you could before. We can pair this up with weapons like the Aikilos SMG, which comes with Volt Shot, allowing us to shock all of our enemies as we're freezing them. Or how about the Callus Mini Tool with Incandescent? Well, we can now use it and get a bonus to the damage while scorching all of the enemies that are frozen. Any primary weapon is going to benefit in this build. And not just primary weapons, but stasis weapons as well. And one of the best new stasis weapons that's out is the fusion rifle called R Vondel FR6. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced that one. There's a lot of new crazy names for some of these weapons. Now this one is especially interesting because not only can it come with chill clip, direct hits with the top half of the magazine, cause a detonation that slows nearby targets, which matches up perfectly with a stasis build, but it also can come with reconstruction. This weapon slowly reloads itself over time, up to double capacity. With six shots in the magazine, that means you can have upwards of 12 shots available. And with reconstruction, providing you with a bullet straight from your reserves every two to three seconds, this weapon gives the Riptide a run for its money. And after using it, I honestly feel like it is better. Some other weapons that work out really great with this build will be the Zephyr Sword or the Lament Sword, which can handle anti-barrier champions. And considering the seasonal artifact gives our grenades and our charged melee the ability to stun overload and unstoppable champions, pairing this up with the Lament would be a great option when it comes to Master and Legend Law Sectors and Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls. Especially when you can throw a Dusk Filled Grenade down and stand within it, getting a damage resistance bonus while also being able to dish out a ton of damage since the Lament especially provides a huge amount of DPS. But otherwise, the Wish Ender is always a great option, and going double primary with this build is really not a bad idea, considering you'll get a bonus to the damage of any primary weapon. So combining a bow like Wish Ender along with an SMG could be a really solid choice for those more challenging activities. And before we transition into our armor mods for this build, when you're setting up the armor itself, it's especially important to focus as much as you can towards your discipline. This is 
is going to improve the recharge rate of your grenade, which will be very important since the Renewal Grasp is going to elongate that cooldown. And with that in mind, one of the most important mods to this build is going to be Firepower. This is a solar mod that provides you with grenade energy after using your grenade while you're charged with light. And with one copy of this mod, you get 15% energy, but we're going to be using two. That way we get 30% energy every time we throw a grenade while we're charged with light. And while we're charged with light, we'll be dealing out an additional 15% weapon damage for any weapon because we're using high energy fire. While charged with light, gain a bonus to weapon damage. Each defeated combatant will consume one stack of charged with light. But most importantly, this will stack with the damage bonus that you're going to be getting from Whisper of Rending. Which means now we just need to get ourselves charged with light. And to do that, we're using the Elemental Charge mod in combination with Elemental Shards, the Stasis mod that will turn all of those Stasis Crystals into Elemental Wells giving energy to our least charged ability, as well as giving us charged with light, allowing us to reap the benefit of both high energy fire and fire power. In terms of second and third tier mods that are really strong with this build, I really like using Utility Kickstart on your class item. This is going to provide you with 15% class ability energy every time that energy is expunged, giving you a great way to get your stasis shuriken back, allowing you to keep all of your enemies frozen, whether it's between a dusk filled grenade or your shuriken. Since grenade cooldown is elongated, having grenade kickstart is especially beneficial. This will provide you with a 15% bump in grenade energy after using your grenade, but that will be cancelled out if using firepower while charged with light. And for that reason, I really prefer using Impact Induction, the Solar Gloves mod that provides you with grenade energy after getting a hit with your melee. The Distribution Class Item mod is also very beneficial, as it reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near targets. The Solar Helmet mod called Ashes to Ashes will be a great asset towards getting your super back, as it will give you super energy after getting kills with your grenades. When it comes to artifact mods that are going to be really strong with this build, Overload Round is one of the first and foremost if you're using an SMG because not only is it great against overload champions but it delays ability energy regeneration and lowers combatant damage output for any enemy. There's also mobile retrofit which is a five point boost in mobility which will really help you get your class ability back. Otherwise resilient retrofit gives you five points in resilience which can be a big help when you're taking on law sectors and nightfalls. Otherwise Low Entropy Superconductor is a great class item mod to use. It gives your stasis melee the ability to stun unstoppable champions. There's also Lord Kelvin's Basilisk. Void and stasis grenades cause disruption, stunning overload champions, giving your dusk filled grenades the ability to be beneficial in Grandmasters especially. There's also Monochromatic Maestro, but this is really going to be more beneficial if you're using all stasis weapons. Dealing damage with elemental abilities grants increased damage damage to weapons of the same element for a short duration. Dealing damage with elemental weapons grants increased damage to abilities of the same element for a short duration. And then there's also Solo Operative. While you are the only member of your fire team, you deal increased damage to all combatants. Very beneficial for Solo Guardians. Whether you're pairing this up with one of the weapons that we talked about today, or one of the many top tier primary weapons that's currently meta in Destiny, this is going to be an absolutely beautiful build once you've put it all together. It provides you with an enormous level of survivability, making it capable for you to take on the hardest challenges, and it gives you an enormous damage boost at the same time. And with the ability of slowing and freezing every single enemy that you go up against, you'll be a complete powerhouse with this dusk-filled hunter stasis build. And with that, we've come to an end of today's build video. I'd love to hear what you think of the Renewal Grasp and this Stasis Hunter build, so let me know in the comments below, and let me know if you've already been using it and what your impressions are. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. And before you leave the video today, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that Discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, guys. Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy, happy hunting.